Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Great Spirit Reviews. Today I got us another big 16 ounce can to do today. Uh, this is Second Chance Beer Company and they're out of San Diego, California. This is called Seize the Coffee, a coffee IPA, 6.5% ABV. And on the bottom here it says it was seized on July 27th of 2016. So. Uh, July 27th, I'm doing this on the 10th of uh, September, so July 27th, uh, August 27th, so it is about eh, five weeks or, or, or so old, so this still should have plenty of IPA notes on it, uh, we should have some coffee influences of this, should be a little darker I would think if they brewed it with uh, or added any coffee into this, so uh, we're about to find out when I pop the cap on this. Uh, I will tell you right off the bat though guys, when I went to uh, Rape Beer had it listed, Untapped had it listed, and I went to Beer Advocate, they made two versions of this, one was called Seize the Coffee and the other one was called Seize the IPA. They had the Seize the IPA listed, but they do not have this particular version. And I know somebody's going to post it, oh here it is, uh, here's the site. When you type it in to Beer Advocate, second chance, it brings up their beers, then you click on that beer company's beers, and it shows all the beers that Beer Advocate has and it's not listed there on either the first page or the second page. That's all that's all the hoops I'm going to jump through. So Beer Advocate, you're out of the equation on this. They don't have it listed and I'm not going to have to jump through hoops to try to find it on their damn website. So Somebody needs to get their shit together there. Uh, IBUs on this, Great Beer has it at 60, 65, and Untapped has it at 65. So we're going to go with that. They're in agreement there. I, uh, yep, it's on the back of the can here looking, 65 IBUs, 6.5%. So both sites have the right information. So we've got the ABV, the IBUs, and the can on date on the bottom. That's the way it should be done. Everywhere, guys. Can on date, bottled on date. IBUs, ABV, listed on each individual bottle, each individual can. If you're not doing that, you suck. Best by dates, enjoy by dates, are for the brewers to give it a longer shelf life, and that sucks. I don't care who you are or, or, or what. If you can't put bottle or can on date on it, the IBUs of the beer and the ABV, you suck. You suck. Out loud. I'm kidding. So. That's me. That's my opinion. You got it. Commercial description says small batch areas with Monstra, Ethiopian, you, yeah, well this word is a monster, Yijapi, Y-I-T-G-A-C-H-E-F-F-E. -F -F -E. Probably butchered the hell out of that word. I've never seen that word before, guys. Yet, Yida, Yida, I mean, I don't know how to pronounce that. Yijapi, Yijapi. I don't know. Never heard of it. Alright guys, that's all we need to talk about on this beer. Let's stop talking and start pouring. Food pairings for an IPA. Cuisine is curry in a tie. Cheese and pepper and Monterey pepper jack sharp blue cheddar. The meat for this is uh, poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon. I will add grilled meat to that. And the glass water to pine back and I tumble mug sign side dell. I'm using my favorite snifter glass, the sovereign beer glass today guys and not recommended for a to sell rings. Don't sell it. Drink them fresh, guys. Uh, about a finger and a quarter of head on that pour. 
It is a deep amber color, very good looking. I'm expecting it to be a little darker with coffee added, but sometimes that doesn't add a lot of color. Looks pretty good. Nice deep amber color. Good looking beer. Let's get a nose on it. I want to tell you right off the bat, this I got this from Donovan and the guys out there at uh, Serve All Liquors in San Diego, uh, CraftCity.com on the internet. If uh, you're not in the San Diego area, get on the internet, check them out. If your state allows them to ship beers to you, you can place an order and they'll ship it right out to you in a box that's made to ship beers in, where you're not going to have any breakage or any damage or anything like that. Big selection of beers on the website, guys, and I'll post that in the link, in the uh, in the more information section of the beer. So, Donovan, thanks a bunch. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Donovan. If you're not in the San Diego area, swing by Serve All Liquors. Tell Donovan and the guys I said hello. Wow. I didn't do the smell, did I? I just realized that when I took a big drink. <laughs> oh, well. Shit happens, huh? We'll just back up a second. Oh, yeah. Nice piney grapefruity smell. Coffee is big time on the nose. The coffee is overbearing everything just about. Nice maltiness to it. 65 IBUs, not too awful bitter. It's about the mid range there. I mean, between 65, 75, 80 IBUs is typical for your standard IPA. On the taste, I'm getting the coffee, caramel, toffee, hints of some pine and grapefruit. But the coffee is predominant, guys. They have used a substantial amount of coffee in this. I'm getting it. It's there. I ain't got to pound it in. Big coffee notes on this IPA. A great tasting coffee IPA if you're into that. If you don't like coffee, you're probably not going to like this beer. If you do like coffee and you like IPAs, you might like this change up a little bit. And I do. Uh, I drink a lot of IPAs, guys. I drink a lot of stouts and porters. Uh, but when they change it up a little bit and they take a standard IPA and it add a little bit of more like a cold brew coffee to this, uh, sometimes you can taste it a little bit. Sometimes you can taste it a lot. This has got a pretty substantial taste to it. Nice caramely. This can be malt notes on this too. Very, very tasty. Very nice. And since we get these big cans and bottles, I like to try to pour the, the rest of it before I go off camera because a lot of times it changes the color and gets a lot more cloudy and does a lot of bunch of different stuff. So I like to pour it in there. And as you can see, it is a rich amber color. Very nice. It's still got almost a finger of head on it. I've been flapping my gums for five minutes or two. Very nice. But let me take it. Let her have a couple of sips on it, and we'll come back and do the final chug. Hey, now I'm back. I've been sitting on about 30 minutes or so. Flat on the deck and tucked on a cigar. It's hot out there. About 90 some degrees. Good time to have a nice chilled beer, huh? Big coffee notes, guys. Really big coffee notes. A little bit of the West Coast influence with the. Uh, Tiny grapefruit citrusiness in there, but the coffee is in the front driver's seat on this beer. Very nice. A nice change up from your typical IPAs. Especially if you like coffee. If you don't like coffee, you're not going to like this, guys. Final chug. Oh, we can't leave that. <clears throat> That's very tasty, guys. Uh, to me, I might go against the grain on this uh, uh, as far as giving you a, a rating or anything on this, but I enjoyed this. I think it's a very tasty coffee IPA. And that, that's what it says it is, right on the front. Seize the coffee, coffee IPA. Coffee's there. Nice West Coast influence as far as the hops that they've used in this. Very tasty. A nice change up from your typical IPA. Coffee's there, no doubt. So, uh, for me, guys, I'm going to give this, since it's got the IBUs, the ABV, and the date listed on it, and it's such a nice, enjoyable, tasty IPA, I'm going to give this an 8, an A-. minus. Numeric rating on this, guys, would probably be a 90. It's very tasty. I do think it's an A beer. 
uh, I would probably buy this beer if I could get it here, especially since they're dating each individual can and got the IBUs and ABV listed on there. No doubt, all the information you need. Uh, like I told you before, Beer Advocate doesn't even have it listed as far as I could see. And went two different places, and like I told you, they had the coffee, I mean the uh, regular C's, uh, C's the IPA, but they don't have the C's the coffee IPA. So uh, they didn't have it listed. And like I said, now somebody will probably say, well, here's where it's at. You shouldn't have to jump through hoops to find it. So they're out. And I would rate beer, they don't have enough scores to give it a grade. Uh, not enough people have posted enough comments. So I don't know how big the brewery is or what their distribution is out there in San Diego. But uh, uh, Beer Advocate and Rake Beer are basically out of the picture as far as grading. And for our final check-in, we'll go over to Untapped. Untapped has it listed. They have the IBUs, the ABV listed here, and they're giving it a 3.85, which is a B plus. So uh, I enjoyed it just a tad more than the numbers they're giving. It would have to be a 4 to get to the A category of their site, and it's a 3.85, so pretty close. They're giving it a B plus, so uh, I enjoyed it just a little bit more than that. And the reason I didn't go with a B plus because all the information is on the can. That's how it should be done, guys. Got to have a can and bottle on date. IBUs is nice, especially for an IPA. ABV is critical. You got to have it written on there, guys. You want to know what you're drinking, what you're buying. Is it a 5%? Is it an 8%? Is it a 12%? You need to know. So you can make an educated decision, whether you can have this at a bar or a couple of them at a bar and be able to drive home or whatever. You need that information. That's just me. And it's time, it's 2016, that these people that are brewing beers give us the information that we need. So if you're not giving us that information, like I said, you suck. So, uh, and I don't mind reviewing beers that uh, doesn't have that information, but usually it's going to cost you a great point. So, put all three bits of information, especially on an IPA, and you'll make this guy happy and you'll get a better grade because we need that information. So, if you've had this one from uh, Second Chance Brewery or Beer Company out of San Diego, California, let me know what you think. I thought it was damn tasty. That's why I gave it the A, the A minus anyway. So, nice. If you've had it, let me know what you think, guys. Come on back tomorrow. Let's dig something tasty out of the fridge. See you then.